kids. I want you to meet Billy. He is an ordinary kid just like you and he's on his way to the bus stop to go to school. His best friend Michael lives just a couple of houses down from him and they meet every day to walk to the bus together. But something seems to be troubling Billy today. I wonder what it is. He remembered to help his mom change his little brother's diaper. He remembered to brush his teeth. So what was he forgetting? Oh yes, Billy forgot his library book at home and it's due back today. So he tells Michael that he is going to run home and get it. Wait, I forgot my book. Wait, we're supposed to walk together, remember? I'll be right back. All right. Billy? Hey, what are you doing? How do you know my name? I work with your dad down at the shop. Billy was thinking to himself that he has never seen this person before. He hasn't seen him at his house or at his dad's shop where the stranger said he worked. He's really busy. He's got kind of backed up. So he asked me to come down and pick you up, okay, buddy? What do you think Billy should do? Should he get in the man's car? It would be wrong not to listen to an adult, right? Is this man considered a stranger? These are the questions that are running through Billy's head right now. They are hard questions to answer, but we're going to help Billy answer them in this short video about stranger safety. Be sure you listen very carefully and try to put yourself in Billy's position so you will know what to do if the same thing ever happens to you. First, we want to let you know what a stranger is. A stranger is anybody that you do not know very well. Strangers come in all shapes and sizes. A stranger can be a well-dressed man or even an elderly lady. If you don't know them, they are a stranger. Let's catch up with Billy. First of all, the man in the car is a stranger. Even though he knows Billy's name, Billy does not know him. The man in the car tells Billy that he works with his dad and that his dad asked him to give him a ride to school. I work with your dad down at the shop. He's, he's really busy. He's got kind of backed up. So he asked me to come down and pick you up, okay, buddy? Let's see if Billy makes the right choice. No. Look, look, I'll, you just, just get in the car. I'll go and I'll take you to your dad's shop, okay? He's busy right now, all right? Just get, look. Come on, hurry up. Get in. I, I got to get no. going. Billy hurries to his bus stop and loads the bus. He made the right choice. But let's see if he made any mistakes along the way. What's going on, Billy? This guy wanted to give me a ride. Did you know him? Not at all. Okay. Well, what did he look like? What, what was he wearing? He was, I think he was wearing a blue shirt. And what color hair did he have? Do you remember? Black, probably. Do you remember what his car looked like? What color well, was it? It was, I really think it was black. A black car? Good job. I want you to have a seat, okay? Okay. Billy alerted his bus driver about the stranger right away. One thing is for sure, and that is that Billy has a great memory. He remembered the color of the car. He remembered what the man looked like, and he remembered what the man was saying. That is a lot of information for the bus driver to pass along. A police officer will go and check it out and question the stranger. Thanks to Billy remembering as much as he did, it will help the police officer find the stranger. So keep that in mind. If a stranger approaches you, try to remember 
What was the stranger wearing? What did the stranger look like? What was the stranger driving? What did the stranger say? Any information you can tell your bus driver, teacher, or parent will be very helpful. So in a way, you would be doing some detective work while keeping safe. Let's review some of the 